Hey guys, back with another cold map quick tip. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I kind of started this series last year and kind of lost interest. You know it is, life gets in the way, blah, 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 blah. But I've been kind of getting into cold map again lately. I'm finding some neat new tricks on it. So probably have a few more of these videos in me, I reckon. But anyway, today we're, doing, we're making this, this stereo distortion sound. So this is the end product, but I'll break it down and we'll go through what I've done. So first things first, this is my dry signal. It's just coming from Ableton. Uh, it's just operator doing some sine wave kind of patty sequency thingy. There's some reverb on it too. I'll turn that off. So it's just that, and it's just a mono signal. It's coming into here. I'll pull this out. I'll pull this down. So this is your basic setup of the patch. We have the sequence going into a mixer, output of the mixer going into the OR circuit of Cold Mac. And we're going to utilize the OR and AND as a stereo output. So I'll just turn this up again. And that's what it sounds like, just like that. So you push this one way, push it the other way, and it works like a pan. Effectively, your signal is being sliced in half and being divvied up to the stereo field. So that's cool and all, but let's uh, automate that panning to make it a bit more interesting. Now you could take a bipolar LFO, put it into the survey, but you'd have to use another module to attenuate it and that's annoying so I like to just put it into the mixer because I mean that's already going in there and you can just use the attenuator on the mixer so as you can hear now that LFO is coming through on this signal and it's pushing the offset of the wave shape up and down so it works it's doing effectively the same thing as the survey knob would do pretty cool already very nifty oh I completely forgot that i have a low pass filter on the outputs of these i'll just turn it up so you can hear the raw effect Pretty gnarly. I'm going to make this sequence just the simpler one so you can hear it a bit clearer. So that is just sounds like this. But now this. Absolutely destroying that signal. I'll turn the filter down a bit so you can hear me a bit easier but we can take it further of course we can so we're going to utilize the crease output as well so i'm going to use a stackable to mount to that signal doesn't really matter which one you do you could take them both and then throw them into a mixer if you really wanted to okay and i'm going to take the crease output and put that into my mixer up here, out of shot. So I've just got that panned mono and then these two as a stereo input. So they're kind of floating around the stereo field while the pre output stays centered. And it's a pretty cool effect, I think. It's pretty gnarly. I'll turn on the other part of my sequence again. Whew. Turn on the reverb for the full effect. Have a play around with this filter.
is pretty extreme. You could definitely set it up as a send effect if you wanted to. I'm just going to turn down the dry wet mix on my Ableton sequence so you can hear what that might sound like. of the sine waves coming through now. Yeah, so I've been using this a fair bit lately. I think it sounds pretty awesome. But yeah, that's all for today. Hope that's been helpful. Chuck me a subscribe if you're that way inclined and uh, have a lovely day. Thanks for watching.